Hi, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Wonder Snatch. It's still Pride Month and I'm doing another collab. Okay, I've already done one collab with Wilma Fingerdo and also yours, the skincare company, to do a video about sunscreen. And today, the house of Ms. Jogim has asked me to be their guest on their slumber party. Alright, so I'm going to get into boudoir, slumber party, valet charge key drag, okay, for this and get to know the girls at the same time, alright? They are fabulous house, okay, and they are the daughters of Vanda Ms. Jokim, who's been on my channel. And today I'm going to be using the new Manny MUA Life's Drag Palette. Why not, alright? And if that's something you can see, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and ring that bell for post notifications. Alright, so let's get started. <music> Okay, so brows are all gone. Let's just pop this shirt off. This is my femme shirt. What am I? I love this shirt, so I'm not going to get any powder on it. <laughs> and let's just get right into this. Okay, I don't have much time. I have to go over to film in a couple of hours, so let's not dilly dally. Charge gears drag. Okay, and I. Oh, I have this stupid sweaty nose. I really hate it when my nose sweats and I get these clumps of powder and stuff in my nose, so I've got to try to be careful about that. One size primer today. Okay, so the house of Ms. Joachim. So I've had actually two of them on my channel already. Mama herself, Vanda Ms. Joachim, she came on for my Christmas episode, very special episode. And Farrah Shamrock who was my first guest. All right, Farrah Shamrock. I guess we'll start off with her. Let's just have a look at all the Instagrams. Okay, in her, in her Instagram thing here, it says, um, Mismatch Oddball Lip Sync Champion. I was actually the judge for that. I, I judged her. She did this amazing cheerleading routine where she where she had a kind of like a pyramid and everything and was really energetic. Okay, she's a really, really good dancer. And Knight of a Thousand Yonsei's Champion. More. Resident Queen at Bun Fight Block. Okay, she's a cheerleading coach and choreographer. Okay, and she's also was Mr. World Singapore, okay, runner up last year. It was really amazing that she actually entered this um, competition as a drag queen, okay, and it really boosted the visibility of drag queens in Singapore. Okay, when I interviewed Farah, we did this Medusa and victim looks. She asked her whether she got any backlash for entering as a drag queen, and she said no. And actually, since then, she's had a few interviews where she actually has mentioned that, you know, she got very, very little backlash and very little homophobic insults for entering a male pageant as a drag queen. And I think that's actually a really good thing about Singapore. So it really means that Singaporeans are quite accepting for LGBT and alternative lifestyles. But, you know, I think it's a really vocal, you know, probably a boomer Christian generation that are a little bit more vocal. Most people really, I guess, don't really care. I'm going to try a new Juvia's Place foundation called Cebu. Hmm, this is a bit yellow for me. And also last year, Farah actually was volunteering at the Singapore Expo, okay, during the peak of COVID, okay. So when COVID hit Singapore, especially in the foreign worker dormitories, we opened up a few um, co at the convention center over at the, what we call the Expo, where we treated them and housed them and quarantined them. So yeah, she's a really amazing person. She did all that. I, I went there too, but I think a few weeks after she finished her rotation there. So yeah, it was a mobilized effort. And I think Farah actually actually performed for one of the baby boy parties at the expo, okay, in the dorms, <laughs> when she did it with some of her friends there. And she was really, really good. She had this whole one shot thing where she was dancing from bedroom to corridor and everything. Amazing, okay, she's an amazing queen. I guess this is a little bit like a meet the queens, but for Singapore, if we ever had a drag race, I'm sure all of them would be on drag race. Okay, and next is Ariana Conda. Ariana Conda. Ariana Conda was the one that actually contacted me. I don't know a lot about her outside. I know she's been in a couple of um, local drag competitions. And uh, when I performed at Riot in 2019, she was performing too. Okay, she performed in this really nice white gown. I remember seeing her backstage and she performed a Shirley Bassey number. I think, um, yeah, yeah, she, I mean, she's really amazing also. So, you know, the house of Ms. Jokim, their quality of performances are uh, really, really high. <laughs> Okay, and now I'm going in with the white. In the middle of here. I don't know. Now for the contour, I'm going to be using my Uma Beauty in Honey Honey. Okay, I think I'm going to be in a. I'm going to be among a lot of beautiful women later, so I better make sure my contours and everything stand out. <laughs> 
I'm bringing my contour a bit lower today. Okay, so it's a bit more horizontal there to give myself a bit more of a chiseled look. I'm gonna bring the nose a little bit more into the crease today. smaller um, sponge okay and then I'm gonna use black to give myself a very chachki eyebrow okay let's pull these face tips on first so Ariana Connor's Instagram she has a lot of um, a lot of very diverse looks okay she's got this really gorgeous black and white ones which she did um, with this amazing lighting I wonder who does all their photography. Really nice. Oh, and here's a picture of her backstage. I think when I was performing as well. This is a very um, classic Wonder Snatch makeup. Okay, yeah, so Ariana Conda. Can't wait to meet her. Okay, and next is Anastasia. Anastasia was a winner of our drag it out competition in 2017 okay in taboo which is one of our gay bars here she's like got giving these pop princess vibes always looking like a bit like ariana grande and she does a whole bunch of music videos i think she released one recently quite quite good looking I, i'm not really i'm not a pop person so let's look at her, mu her music videos there's one called mother's daughter where she has all of these free britney subliminal messages official Anasta anastasia Anastasia, Anastasia. Oh, nice rainbow look she has here. Yeah, I see her a lot in the in the um, baby boy parties, the Zoom parties also. Really rocking it out. I'm gonna set these black brows carefully. A little bit of translucent. All right, I'm just gonna set all this really quickly and I'll be right back. All right, um, I'm gonna go in and to contour. See, look at this powder here. Oh, just gotta try to hide that with powders, I guess. I'm gonna warm in the face of this light bronzer. Okay, so next is Dahlia Rose. She's a uh, Gorgeous, she's non-binary, she identifies as non-binary, so they do a lot of makeup tutorials on Instagram. I remember watching them for a while. She's really, really gorgeous, okay, beautiful face. Another source that teaches you a lot about Singapore Queens is Instagram called Behind the Queens SG. Okay, I think Dahlia Rose had a little blurb there, and I think it's quite interesting because, you know, a lot of these Malay queens, they actually have the same story where they're not allowed to leave their house in drag, okay, as is mentioned there. And one of the other queens I've tried to interview, Norris Star, he's, she, she's one of the more famous and well-booked drag queens in Singapore. I tried to get him on my channel, but he can't do drag at home, so it's very hard for us to Zoom call and everything like that. So that, that's, that's coming, okay? I promise, Norris. I'm trying to disguise that patchy bit in my nose. Snatch that for now and do the eyes. This is using one size powder from Patrick Star. Okay, yeah, so Dahlia Rose, if you look at her Instagram, she's absolutely stunning as well. She's like, she does mainly a lot of just really beauty, beauty stuff. And she's got, she looks like she's got an amazing walk in wardrobe. So. Stunning. Okay, I'm gonna go for a very oil slick, smoky eye today, I think. Let's get this base prime. Okay, after Dahlia Rose is Tia Sorel. Tia Sorel, I think she's one of the younger ones. Cute as a button, okay. She, um, I think she was like fourth place in that Drag It Out competition in 2017. I remember seeing her perform at Riot a few times also and she does a mix of pop stuff and traditional stuff. Okay, she has very nice Malaysian traditional wear. And her makeup is stunning also. Okay, both her and another queen, Luna Thick, they host a mukbang on the on the House of Miss Joachim channel. Okay, let's try this Life's a Drag palette. I'm gonna go in with a... Let's just go into black first to map out my crease. I'm gonna use a small pencil brush. Maybe I'll go for a more 
subtle look to them. Here's Sarah, she has some creative looks too. Okay, she did this one with, um, with Salome Black. Really nice pictures with like these really colorful looks. And she's done like, oh wow, this is nice. This, uh, this kind of uh, Aquaria inspired big anime eye. Yeah, stunning. I'm just tracing out my crease first with this pencil brush. I think Manny knows you can't do a drag green palette without an excellent black and an excellent white. And then I'm using a flat brush. I'm using the purple to just blend up the corner. I don't want it too blown out this today, okay? Because Violet Chachki doesn't have too blown out eyes. Okay, and yeah, and I mentioned Lunatic. Lunatic is another one of the young ones. And she hosts at Mukbang, as I mentioned. Let's have a look at her Instagram. <laughs> oh, she's got, oh, she's, she's got music videos too. Yeah, she's got a few music videos, not a lot of views. So go over and give her some love. They're really going in for this like, you know, pop princess kind of vibe. Very club friendly kind of drag. Okay, so I've got some purple down there. Let's go in with this blue, this darker blue called Clocked. It's going to blend it in. Okay, yeah, so Lunatic, yeah, she's she's really, really pretty as well. And then this latest one, she has this um, Burberry, kind, <clears throat> Burberry kind of print. I wonder whether she made that herself. Okay, blend. Just switching the brush and this blending up the edges. And now with the white, just gonna set all that on top. So I'm trying to go for very bedroom eyes. I'm gonna do liner and everything off camera. I'll be right back. Okay, I went in, deepened up the corner there with a bit of NYX. Just trying to get this right now and I had to go and fix my nose. I had to go and remove the foundation and try to fix that nose there. And there's one more queen in the house called Opal Ophelia. I don't see her around that much. She opens up the, the music video for the House of Miss Joachim anniversary video, music video. And she is quite pretty too. Let's have a look at her Instagram. Okay, so Opal Ophelia. Oh, I haven't followed her yet, but I follow. <laughs> She's also got these, you know, three series of three ins pictures of, my in of Instagram, just like me. Yeah, she uses quite a lot of nice colors too. Ch check all of them out and give them all a nice follow. I'm gonna go in the black lower lash line. The eyes look okay, I think. They look much better with lashes. I'm gonna try my new Arthurine blush. This blush was all the rave, okay, from uh, Menagerie Cosmetics and it just came back in stock. So I'm gonna be using a whole bunch of these purples. I'm gonna go in with my lips last. Today I'm gonna to put on some temporary tattoos, okay? So I've got something, my curls up that way. I'm gonna put it on this side. Yeah, so the house of Miss Jogim is not the only house in Singapore. There are many other houses. There's the house of Star, um, mothered by Nori Star herself, and also the house of Gemini. I think that I, I'm not sure whether there are any others. Um, I'm sure I'll be corrected later. Um, then, of course, there are a whole bunch of drag queens who don't really have a house, like, you know, Mona Kiki and Becca the Bus and Arya Dunn. Get a wet cloth. So that's one. I'm gonna do a, a whole bunch of cascading tattoos here. Yeah, okay, so I think I'm just gonna put on a few more of these tattoos. I guess I'll be getting in drag over at their place. So I'll be vlogging a bit, okay? So um, check out this vlog and my collab with the House of Miss Joachim and check out the video on their channel as well. Let's see how this looks. Ooh, not bad. <laughs> Okay, I gotta get all this on and finish up my face and head off for the collab. See ya. Okay, so I'm here at Anastasia's house. It's Anastasia, and she was, Hello. and we just finished filming the video. Hi. So Anastasia, how did it, how, how did we do? <laughs> Y'all did great, actually. It's really, really good. Um, 
We haven't shot Summer Party in two months, Ooh. so this was a good start. And you got to be the first queen to be in our new studio. In a new studio, I'm so honored. Yeah. <laughs> and here's Ariana Connor. She was my teammate. I'm in the, in the we, we play a game, right? Yeah, we, we play know. a game. And we sh- <laughs> watch the video to find out. <laughs> we, did, we need them to go to the video first. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> watch the video. Don't forget to watch the video from House of Miss Jo Kim. And Farah, Farah, come here, come here. And of course, Farah. Here's Farah, my first. Ever guests on my channel? Yes! <laughs> I'm always the first one. Looking super gorgeous. Can we pan down? We're all tucked and, Don't pan down here. and ready for, uh, yeah, you ready for the down bedroom. Down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, you should take a look what's happening down oh, here. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's Thank in you. her natural habitat. <laughs> and of course, the wonderful <laughs> fandom is joking is here. Hey. From from Drag Race Thailand Season 2 and yeah. she was on my channel too. <laughs> finally, finally we got to see each other in person. In person after yes. a long time. How, how, how was the video? Um, You mean ours or...? Yeah, yeah, like the one we just filmed. Oh, oh yeah, it was great. Yeah, oh. I mean there's a side to you that I've never seen before. Like, yeah, I, I wouldn't uh, get to know me more. Oh, like, that's, that, that's good. I think we've been waiting to meet her for the longest time. Yes. Oh, I'm so happy, I'm so happy. No, I'm very happy to meet you all. And stop hating on my wig. I love this wig. <laughs> All There's right. nothing to love about that week, by the way. <laughs> Alright, so <laughs> don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And check out the video on House of Miss Jokim channel. I'll link it down below. Alright, I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> and I'm back. Boudoir Violet Chachki meets Dita Von Teese's fantasy with my temporary tattoos. I just did the video with House of, House of I just did the video with House of Miss Jokim. <laughs> I did, even did a little vlog there, but I think most of the time was spent with the with the amazing set they had and uh, our collab video. I would go over right now and watch it. I think Ariana Conda, I never really talked to her before, but she is hilarious, okay? I would go over and watch it, watch her right now and follow her on Instagram as well. And also all the other girls of House of Miss Jokim, they're fabulous drag queens and Singaporean drag queens at that. All right, and if you like this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and ring that bell for post notifications. And I'll see you next time. Ooh, bye. Hello, Dita Von Teese meets Valet Chikachi meets Aiden Jane. Oil slick nails for this. And I got all these temporary tattoos on as well. I think I'll keep them on for the rest of the day. Don't forget to check out my other collaborations. I did a video here with Wilma Fingeru on her channel and I styled a wig with Sloan Black. I'll see you next time. Bye.